Okay, I would rewrite it by dividing both sides by 3. I want to get that absolute value alone. So I get 4 minus 5x. And that's greater than if I divide both sides by 3 by 4. I need to understand what this says. It says the absolute value of that thing, 4 minus 5x, must be greater than 4 from the origin, which means 4 minus 5x, whoops, 4 minus 5x must be less than minus 4, or the 4 minus 5x must be greater than 4. These are two inequalities to solve, and solve them one at a time. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to add 4 to both sides, I'm going to do th and then add 5 to both sides. You get 8. 5x, I would divide both sides by 5, and you get this. Let's do the other one. I'm going to add 5x to both sides and subtract 4, and what do you get? You get this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both sides by 5, and I get this. I put a number line down. On the number line, I put the uh, numbers of interest, and there's two numbers. One of the numbers is 0. The other number is 8 fifths. Now, what do I know about x? Well, I'm reading it. It says x is greater than 8 fifths. I'll shade that in over here. Or, what does the other one say? x is less than 0. So let's write this down. You got an interval. The interval is going to be minus infinity up to 0. Don't touch it. Union, 8 fifths off to infinity. Put a box on it. Again, my work led to that interval. I'm going to check the key now to see if we've got the interval what they said it is. And we do. Minus infinity to a 0 and then 8 fifths to infinity. Thank you.